Okay, so I've put gas in there, removed the air filter, and I'm just gonna squirt in some nice, my favorite 50% bonus. Oh, I'm gonna just tip it a little bit so that it'll go inside. Oh yeah, let's see if it'll fire up. Okay, so what is the problem? What do we see here? We put fuel in here. It's a gravity fed carburetor, so it's not leaking out, which means load is likely working fine. However, it's not working, right? So this doesn't work. Uh, actually, I didn't try this even. Um, let's not play around with that. Don't play around with that. We're just squirting ether in there. We're bypassing this. Okay, so what's not working here? It's very likely that the uh, the main jet is is plugged up, and if I had to guess, it's with the with the greenish oxide. Okay, so we're gonna take apart the carburetor, clean it up, and I think it should be working fine. That's what we're gonna try and do. Okay, so and I also have a theory that the gasoline has some alcohol in it. The bacteria can start to eat the alcohol, turn it to vinegar. The vinegar strips away the coating on the on the on the main jets because it's copper based right it's a brass so there's copper in there and once the coating is stripped away what happens is it, it's very clean right so then it's very easy at that point with a little bit of moisture to make the green oxide of the copper okay i'm just going to take a picture of uh, where they have the spring positions and the uh lever positions right because there's just so many holes so many variations that you can use and they've tuned it to for this machine to work so eh, look at the oil yeah these plastic pieces tend to come out so you have to be a little bit careful about those so use disconnect from here leave that there okay so gasket ripped a bit so we'll just, uh, I have them, I have them, so we'll replace that. And let's take out the carburetor, disconnecting it from there. Don't move that around or if it cracks, you're done. Lots of fuel in the carburetor. Okay, so we're just digging into the carburetor and what do you see? It's, it's gummed up, but wait. Don't stop there. Look at the color. It's green. Copper oxide. Uh. Okay, we're going to try something new. <coughs> I've never really tried this before, but it doesn't mean it's not going to work. Uh, copper oxide. <coughs> you can see it's all green in there. So, 50% vinegar water solution. And we're just gonna submerge the lower half of that. So that e. You know what? We're gonna submerge everything in there. So everything goes in there. And we are going to do what else are we gonna do? Another 50. We're gonna do this one along with this guy. So we are going to let the dilute acid eat away at that nice copper oxide. And convert it to water and copper uh, does it convert it to copper I think it converts it to water and yeah I guess it goes back to copper okay so after about two hours in the solution of vinegar and water just use a toothbrush and clean it up a little bit and uh, this guy here which is the bristle of a wire brush Make sure you get, there's two, one little hole here actually. And it's very small, make sure you get that one. Clean it all out. We use air pressure, WD-40 as well. There you go, clean that out. Right. Got our new base, carburetor base gasket here. Yeah, we had those in, let's say stock. So let's put this thing together. This is the old, we're gonna reuse it. Old 
uh, gasket here. I don't have any new ones of these. Was I'd put a new one? But um, put that on. We'll put the needle in seat. turn the carburetor like this the float should be parallel and it pretty much is it should be also free moving with the needle and seat in position okay so now we'll put this guy back in so we're using the gasket all right I'm putting it like that Base gasket there. And let's go install the carburetor. This we're using the same. So here we're just going to install the carburetor. We're going to clean off this old gasket, uh, put the new one in place, hook it up the same way as it was, and uh, we'll fire it up. Put everything back together. Fire it up. Okay, so carburetor is on. The linkages are on. Um, you can see here, it's working, kind of, you know, it's kind of working, it's working, it's movable. The linkages are the same way as they were. One thing that doesn't work is the throttle cable, so, eh, what are you going to do? That, I'm not going to fix that, you need a new throttle cable. So it's just stuck on this position here. We'll see how, how fast it goes. Primer, worky. Okay, so let's put on the air filter now. Uh, this thing here only goes on one way. I don't like these ones. Oh, lines up here. Goes on there. That, like that. Push it on and twist it. There you go. So give it one, two, three, four, five healthy primes. No joke. Let's see if it'll start. 